Jason got anointed big time. Yeah. Well, Ab Abby, Abigail um, Sheko, one of the, the pastor's daughter, noticed something spiritual happening and and she pointed out to Jorge, which is, he's a, he's the pastor's son, and he's also a pastor himself. Um, but he just started praying over over Jason and called up all, everybody else to pray over and lay hands on him. and. He was shaking and crying, but the anointing on him was intense. It was, it was probably like nothing I've seen in a long, at least in a very long time, but maybe ever. Um, and so the first time he's played drums in like four years. Yeah. And before he was playing for the wrong reasons, and this was the first time he's played in four years, and it sounded like he had never lost a beat in four years. Um, Christ was definitely playing through him. The Holy Spirit was, was playing through him.
Jason just started playing. I mean, like, like there was this slight pause, but then he just started started playing. Like, didn't even miss a beat. It was, it was completely dark, and he was not missing a beat. And that was the most intense worship I've, I've had in a while, especially from such a small group. It was intense. Um, it was it was as if we had a large group there, and just the it was. It was just powerful and fluid. Passionate. Passionate, definitely. Um, very passionate worship, I mean. <laughs> variety of, of adorations to God. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the words of the, the, the song that was playing, but people were just singing various things. And then the, then Jorge was praying over people. We were all praying over different people. I guess it's just, uh, uh, there's really no words to describe it, you know, it's just the Holy Spirit, and God, and it's awesome to know that Christ is everywhere, and, you know, and He works uh, in mysterious ways, and I'm not sure what happened, but it was just uh, awesome to, and I felt very humbled to be able to be a vessel for Christ, you know, I don't, I don't think it was anything I did, I just feel like it was God working through me, and all of us, really, I mean, it was awesome to play again, and be delivered from that, from my situation, and it was just, uh, it was just awesome also to just look out and watch everybody and just see the Holy Spirit moving everybody and God just working in everyone, and it's just awesome. I, I know in America we don't, when we worship, the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, or the presence of the Holy Spirit isn't as strong at times, and I hope, you know, hope and pray that God will use me so when you go home I can bring that back and show people what it's really like, you know, because it's amazing. Blackout's crazy, man. I mean, I, to be honest, I'm kind of happy we talked about it here because I feel like they're more open and understanding of the spiritual warfare, you know, because I think uh, a lot of times we don't take it seriously in America, the spiritual warfare side of things, but the blackout definitely, whether it was God coming or whether it was like, you know, the evilness leaving or maybe a combination of both, uh, it was just ironic how powerful things can be real quickly and just, I don't know, it was... 
it's like the icing on the cake for the situation, I guess, you know, just for the seriousness of it and the magnitude of what was going on. It was just incredible that that happened. But I'm just, like I said, humbled and honored that Christ moves through us and uses me. And I obviously is using all of you guys as well, you know, just to see that. It's just amazing, man. God is good. Very good. I'm happy to serve him.